There's a flip normals feature in the 3D modeling program Blender. But let's say you don't know how to use Blender or you're just lazy. So pretty much this script does the exact same thing as the program Blender. It flips the normals, um, but is it more convenient for newer developers? Yes, but is it the preferred method? Well, probably not. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in Blender, if you come up here and then say face orientation and then click on it, go into edit mode, go to mesh, go down to normals and flip. This is basically how you can do the same exact thing. Uh, so Blender probably does it better, but that's how you can do it in Blender if you guys don't know what I was talking about. All right, so how do we actually make this? Well, it is very, very simple. So pretty much what you want to do is just insert a block or whatever part into your game, insert a script, and the first thing we're going to do is get the C-frame of our block, or what other, other part we are using. We got the C-frame, now we just need to set the C-frame uh, to C-frame dot from matrix and we're just going to enter down okay then we're going to say c frame or uh part c frame dot position part c frame dot x vector comma uh part c frame and then y vector and then finally we need our uh part c frame oh sorry we need to make this negative so negative part c frame uh, dot Z vector. I forgot to mention, but shout out to this guy for actually uh, providing the script and uh, showing everybody uh, what this is and how to use it. But anyways, we uh, did this into our bar right here. If I click run, oh, that's my bad guys. Just change this uh, right from part Z frame to script parent Z frame. So hit run on your game. And as we can see now, we can see inside of our ball. The normals are flipped. We can see in the ball. If we wanted to apply this effect to every other part we have here, copy your script, select these other two parts, right click, paste into selected, and now the scripts are in those two. And uh, here's our cube and our cylinder. Uh, they look really cool, and as you turn your camera around, uh, you can see the faces that are not right next to you. So we cannot see this face and this face. If we turn our camera over here, we cannot see the f this face that we just saw. And it's really cool. Uh, same thing with the cylinders. It's a really cool effect. And let's say we wanted to uh, try some other parts and weird stuff. I mean, we could do a corner wedge but how about some like weird models uh so maybe in blender or something like that now i actually want to try something on this dummy all right what if we made this dummy like those parts i kind of want to try it out see if it'll work uh and i'm just gonna try it out real quick Moment of truth. Let's see if this worked. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, that's sad. Yo, <laughs> yo, the face is like, it's weird now. It's like the face is back in the head, and we can see through the whole, whole thing. Yo, that's weird. That's cool though. All right, so we just tested. We can do it on a character's body part. Oh, I just moved it around in it. Well, okay, but we just tested, confirmed that it works on a body part, or I mean a character and all its body parts, and you can just see inside, and that's <laughs> that's crazy you can do that. And so now the real question is like more complex meshes. Stuff like, oh, a car mesh. We can try that out, uh, our car mesh, and maybe... 
Well, there's a gun. We could we can try some of these out. I'll spawn a a few in. We can try we can try a box truck. We can we can try quite a few. Oh, where'd it go? It just disappeared. Uh, so we we'll try a few more. Let me pick some more out. So I got some more complex meshes, and I'm just gonna copy the script in, and we're just gonna see uh, how everything looks. So first of all, we are going to insert this into this house, uh, just see how it looks. So run, play the game. In the house, it just looks kind of normal. If we go inside, it looks pretty normal, but it kind of looks weird. It's kind of clipping on the ground a little bit. But the house, it looks it looks okay. I thought maybe like it would be a little bit better, but honestly, just in here, it looks good. Like this could actually work uh, for an interior, but there's the house. So let's do this truck right here, the box truck. Put it in there. Uh, oh, well, it's multiple parts. Well, we're just gonna copy the script into all of those parts, so no worries. And, oh, we can see into the box truck now. See, like, this script is useful, like, to see inside of stuff. So, like, uh, if you weren't previously supposed to be looking inside of stuff, you can basically make interiors now. So, uh, you can see in the truck. Uh, but it's a really cool you can see, like, the back in here. Turns out you can just do the box. So, I'm going to get rid of... Uh, these other two scripts and just do the box uh, part so I'm gonna delete those scripts try it again and it looks like it's just the back part which is really cool I'm glad they separated that so we could do that but that's really cool so it's just the uh, part back here instead of the whole truck that's cool so I got a gun in, the, in this regular car so let's put this in the car just real quick play it and there's our car again you can see the inside uh, still pretty cool and then finally we have our gun uh, which is that yep play the game and oh the gun is like glitching out but we can still see inside of it uh, quite well so there is inside of the gun again pretty cool you can see everything inside of it um, so there's our meshes using that script and there's one more I want to try which is these apartments uh, if I could spot them in we have an apartment building and I'm gonna put the script in there well there's like a thousand parts in here not really but you know quite a few but it'll still work and if you're asking me if this is performance heavy I have no idea I'm just messing around with it uh, but there have to be some performance things, but here's the building. And honestly, we can't look. Oh, maybe we can. The The outside here is blocking it. But honestly, I'm kind of disappointed with this one. I thought this would look a lot cooler, but I guess there you guys go. So we learned today using this script. Uh, pretty much it does the same thing as flipping normals in Blender. And it, it it's probably not the way to do it, but... uh. There's this script and everything makes it work. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.